I was invited to this prophet's church and I preached. When I finished uh, preaching, I was sitting with him and then I noticed something, you know. You see, when I was sitting with him, the prophetic message was not coming. Like he wasn't, he wasn't ministering. It was just after church. But the members kept coming to him for a word. Do you see? So I realized that he was under pressure to sort of give a word. When he wasn't even ministering, there was no word or no revelation. So it's like he has to give a word. A word, a word, a word, a word. He's a real prophet. You know? But you see, like Kenneth Hagin, Jesus first appeared to him in 1950. And appeared to him until 1958, eight times. And on the eighth time in 1958, he told him, I will not appear to you again. You have to be like others and follow direction as others do by the inner witness and the peace of God in your heart about things. So this is, this is it. See you in heaven. <laughs> Finish! 1958! And when I first met Kenneth Hagin, it was 1980 um, 1980-something. He always talks about it. It was 1950, Jesus at first appeared to him, then 1952. He had the big visions, 1950 vision, 1952, 1958. He has them. There are eight of them. Jesus appeared to him, stuck, sat down in the hospital by him eight times. That, uh, that shows you the authenticity of the prophet because he will tell you, yes, this one was a vision. This one, I prayed about it. Like Paul. Paul said, I have sought to see the Lord. I can't even speak about it. This one is not from the Lord. I'm telling you my own advice. First Corinthians chapter 7. And that's a real prophet. There's a real prophet. You can't deceive us that you are prophesying all the time. When you say, the Lord says, turn left, turn right, turn straight, through, uh, all the time. I mean, please. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. He says, but to the rest speak I, not the Lord. That's how to see a real prophet. He will tell you, I'm not always prophesying. Kenneth Hagin said, people meet him in the mall and ask him for a prophecy. He said, I I am not, he said, number one, I'm not prophesying. Number two, I'm not having a revelation when I'm shopping, especially with my wife. I'm not having any revelation here. (laughs) You want to force the prophecy out of me every day, all the time. It's not true. And I met Kenneth Hagin myself. I met him myself. And I asked him to pray for me. And he said, I am, I will not pray for you because I'm not under the anointing. And I don't, I don't pray for, I don't just pray for. He says, pray for me. I said, no, he did not. He did not. He did not. Not to somebody, to me. He said, I'm not under the anointing. I don't feel any anointing to pray for anybody or whatever. I I cannot pray for you. Sorry. Can I take a picture? Yes, you can take a picture. So we took a picture. That's all. Picture, but no prayer. Hey! 